You know, I come over here, I offer to help, I run over anytime y'all need help moving her or doing anything, Diane. I come over here for anything y'all need, and you're going to tell me that now all of a sudden I can't come see her this weekend? I'm at home all day, Diane. It's not that big of a deal. It is that big of a deal, because that's my fucking grandmother, and I love her. Right next door Exactly. What did she do the Christmas before this past Christmas? What do you mean, what did she do? What did she do that day? I don't know what happened. I don't know. I mean, she always hangs out with us, or we bring her food on the holidays, if she doesn't want to come over. And what does this have to do with me being able to come and see her? I mean, do I cause trouble when I'm over here? Do I do anything besides come over here and help you? The one problem that we all acknowledge is, is you really aren't around her enough to know her condition. And Diane, I can and tell by looking, looking at her when she feels bad. Attention. We do pay attention. Don't you get that we took care of her for years? We Who made Michael. Michael was a caretaker. For what? Yeah, uh, he was helping. Parents. Yeah, Grandpa wanted him here. He helped. He did Grandpa cooking and cleaning. Okay, and he was paid five hundred dollars a week, and now my mother can't even feed herself. And people are so unreasonable that they think just family should care. Do you know why she can't feed herself, Diane? She needs to do this stuff. She's weak. Exactly. We need to build her strength up. And what do you Don't you get, instead of her sitting here constantly, we need to have her lifting some cans. We need to have her doing all that kind of thing, Diane. That's what gets her better. Jennifer, just her getting in and out of the car and waiting for office. Where's her ass out? Because she doesn't exercise. She's 80 fucking I know that, Diane. I know that. Did you see her getting exercised at Legend Oaks? Did you see her crying? Well, Diane, that's because she doesn't want to do it. When the doctor was here the other day, telling her to lift her arms, she couldn't even lift her arms. I said, Grandma, lift those arms for me. That's exactly what she did. Both up in the air and lifted them. When the doctor was trying to get her... Yeah, when the doctor was trying to get her to do her legs, she couldn't do it. I said, Grandma, look, if I stand at the edge of your bed like this and I paint a big bullseye right on my ass, I said, show me you can kick those legs. So she kicked her legs for the doctor. She can do it, Diane. She doesn't like people she doesn't know telling her what to do. She doesn't like people that she knows telling her. That's true. That's why I play with her. When I need her to do something, I'll say, Woman, you better do this or I'm going to kick her. And I play with her and she does it. The way that it all is, is it's like, it's got to be y'all's way or it's not going to happen. It's not that. And it's We're just trying to be reasonable. It's not going to happen. We're trying to be reasonable. That's why we said, you guys move down here. Move down here so it doesn't cost her any money. You could meet, hold on, you think I'm going to move here and permanently caretake for my own mother? I mean, why wouldn't you? For one, it's not healthy mentally. That's your mother. It is. It is. It it definitely is. And, and, And me being here on the weekends and seeing how incredibly hard it is mentally, I know for a fact what needs to be done. Yeah, she needs family here. If she you're willing to do that, you need care. to move down here. Where is she going to get professional care? care? You don't think Leslie's a pre- professional? I, mean, I like Leslie. Leslie. 30 years. I think you Leslie's think fine. Professional? The problem Why is... do you think Leslie has a bad back? Look, I, I, I don't know. She's been doing this for 30 years. 30 years. Would you, do you think you think you think you'd have a bad back after 30 years of picking people up? Look, I don't know. But I mean, why couldn't you move down here and take care of her? If she wants family here, then why don't you do it? Well, she'll say yes to anything y'all ask her. I've asked her if she wants family being here, and she doesn't. And she doesn't say yes to anything I ask her. You know, it's it's really nothing to argue about or even talk but about. I want you to see that I am not an she is dying. I am she not needs an to be happy, person. Diane. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been granted guardianship. She's not And happy. the wording wouldn't have been worded the way that it was if I was an unreasonable don't you, person. Don't you understand that she's not happy, I didn't happy, graduate Diane. In high school, so y'all bring Yvonne to court to testify that I didn't graduate I from high school. I never even knew Yvonne. That yet, was the first day I met her. But okay? yet, my whole family's there, but Yvonne has to be brought into court. You think the judge can't see that? I'm not manipulating anybody or anything. I talked to my lawyer, who, by the way, is $375 an hour, and that's where Susan needed to have our little meeting. I know the game. You know, I might have not graduated from that. Actually, school. Susan didn't want the meeting yeah, there at your lawyer's not. office, but she that was where they put it. No, she, she demanded it. <laughs> she didn't want it there in the first place. That's... She wanted to meet at a more neutral oh, place. And then she said, fine, that place is weird. She's lying. 
belong to you. I don't even know if I still have that because I trashed it. Listen, off. Diane, that's a ball face. You're saying this right. weekend. Susan set up the meeting and you, said it had to be at my lawyer's you house. I don't like this weekend. Yeah, I don't like people Can that I lie. I have a habitual liar that lives in my house that's mentally ill, and I don't like to be lied Man, to. That's a great kid. I, He's mentally ill. Is that a bad kid? kid? You know, know why he's a great kid? You know why he's a great kid? Because he lives in my fucking house with me and my husband. He is mentally ill. He's got he's like just three disorders and issues. Yeah, he's been fucked over by his family. I know that's why you need to love him unconditionally. What do you think I'm doing to him? You act like you live at my house. Well, Alex, Alex, is, hold on. The way you hold talk, on. The way Alex you talk, talk about, about him, him around me. Does Alex seem scared? But, but Diane, Diane, why do you talk about him like that? I said he was mentally ill. No, but you always say he's a terrible kid. He's not. He's so great. You don't have a clue, Jennifer. But I'm saying from what you've told me, Diane. You don't have a clue of what Alex is about. He Alex seems to be so polite, and he's so... Up you know, he he's had a polite. very hard time. You know why he's polite? But again, again, he's polite because of Archie and myself. And he is a poor kid. But I didn't fuck him. I didn't starve him. And I don't starve him at my house, if you can tell. And I've never laid a hand on him. I don't want anybody's child. I've never hit a child in my entire life. And you never shouldn't. Would. You shouldn't. I don't abuse animals. I don't abuse people. Alex is fucked up. He just needs some love, love, Diane. That's what his grandfather said. He doesn't need therapy. He just loves, needs love. But he's been in two different places that have actually kicked him out of their places because they can't get anywhere with him. Well, Alex he's going to need to somebody to get to him. He needs to know that he's fucking loved. That's what kids need, Diane. You don't think he knows that? Oh, well, I don't know. Sometimes you talk so bad about him. I'm just wondering. <laughs> Diane, you, are, you <laughs> haven't even been around. You are the one that told me that you knew you made a mistake 15 minutes after you picked him up. Well, fuck no shit. Anybody would. The Foster family didn't want to adopt him. They didn't even contact him. They couldn't wait to get him out of their house. That's why they didn't tell us about his behaviors. He's Nobody had this man. He's a child. He can access full on the mental chart, darling. Well, he's been through a lot. Can you blame him? I'm not blaming him, but I can blame his mother. Well, of and course. His father. And that's why he's not with the pieces of shit anymore. He needs somebody that's going to love him unconditionally and not treat yes. him like he's a mental case. He needs to be treated like a normal child. You see, again, you're insinuating that I treat him like he's a mental case. Well, I mean, because you're just telling me that he's uh, mentally challenged, not mentally challenged, but he he's crazy. He is. He's like special ed. He's the new special ed. Uh, he's he's a pretty fucking smart kid. kid. I he's talk to him. He's high IQ. He does. But it's neither here nor there. No. I it wasn't a big at a, against the foster family. He didn't know the foster family. family. Yeah, by the time he got him, I did know the foster family. So what reminded me of my relatives. And you're going to be here this weekend. Can I come and over and see her? her? What, what, what do me and the babies do wrong? I didn't say you and the babies did anything wrong. Then what's the problem with me being able to come and see her? I can't single somebody out when everybody's collectively together. You on every email that's ever been emailed to me. Well, it's, it's it's every, well, I don't read any of them. Have you noticed? Every I don't time. check I don't any of them that anybody sends me. I don't really me. care. I don't really care who's reading what. I just know what's going on is wrong. It's this is wrong. Ready. This whole situation is wrong, Diane. She's unhappy. She's unhappy as hell. She is now. She really is. She Diane, you can, her ass well, I'm sure she in. smiles when she gets up and sees people, but Diane, she's unhappy. You can tell. Is she was happy when the last caretaking plan was under place? I've never really seen okay, her in the last week. Let's see. Let me go back to the weekend prior to her birthday weekend. That was the weekend before she got taken out of this house. Tom was on drugs from his wreck. Yeah, we weren't allowed in Tom, here hardly. No, no, no. David was living in this house. Yeah, I'm saying we weren't hardly allowed they in here because stayed, nobody was talking to they Tom. stayed in that room. He stayed in that room with my mother all day Saturday, all Saturday night, and all day Sunday. And that's why Tom was gone. And nobody checked on her once. Now we're trying to get rid of Tom Long. David was that. living here. And why didn't anybody check on an elderly woman if they cared so much? Oh, wait, Come David on. was living here. David is responsible. Wake that beast. David is responsible. David Shit. was here. Don't you get that we love her? Why 
Why do you all think we time? do all? Yes, we love her unconditionally all the time, Diane. And why can't you make an exception to let me come over and see her? I've done nothing wrong. If anybody's pissed you off, then that's fine. You take I'm it out not, on them. I, I don't care about any of them. Well, that's then what's the problem? Calling. I don't come over here and yell at her. I come over here and tell her she's beautiful, and I talk to her, and we play with baby. I bring the babies to see her. What's the problem with that? There is no problem, so what's the problem with just waiting a weekend? Because, Diane, I didn't get to see her for almost two weeks when I had the flu. That's time I can't make up, and I don't want to lose more days with her just because people have pissed you off, Diane. That's not fair to her. That's not anything to do with me being pissed off. It has to do with trying to keep a caretaker in place without people running over the Am I gonna, Have I ever been mean to Leslie once? I don't do that. But I'm not going to come in here and scream and throw tantrums and fight in front of Grandma. The only time I'd ever done that was when you were shoving on me when I had my baby in my arms, Diane. You came in there. I didn't there. shove on you. I slapped your face, I think. I was no, you wouldn't have slapped my were, face. I'd have killed you. You were, you were shoving me like this. This is what you were doing to me. It wasn't fake crying. Fake crying. Don't you get we, we were on upset? It on and off. It's on my machine at home. Don't you get that we were it's upset over what was home. happening to her? It on and off like a faucet. Damn, you went from crying I give a so often, like, not even like normal. Because just thinking about the situation she's in and what she's been through makes me fucking hurt, Diane. Don't you get that? She wants her fucking family here to see her. Let me and the babies come and see her on she's the weekend. Been here for how many years? And now? I've been seeing her every fucking day. And do you really think I would allow her to go to the ranch when I know y'all want her dead? Just like with Travis. We now? want her dead, Diane. We love her. Her voice down. See, you can't even hold your voice because down. You're Telling me we want her dead. Are you crazy? I know exactly the plan. I know exactly the plan. You think we want her dead? Diane, Sherry, or living where? I'm not stupid. What, our plan. Are you serious? Why would we have deeded an acre of property to her and have her move here if we wanted her dead? Why would we be feeding her? You Why would we fight for what she wants, she wants if we want her dead? Do you understand how crazy that sounds? We didn't even want her dead. That was Dad's idea. Him and Mom planned on taking care of her, Diane. That's not even true. That is true. That's I know. Not I not live not. it. Otherwise, how would you know, Diane? He would have you were signed. gone Otherwise. for over 10 years. For That's what? Right. Show out on the drama because this is before I was gone. I'm being serious. This is when we were building in. their house because why? Because they trusted and then what us. Happened to why you? did I pack up but all of their shit and they didn't go after trust that. me? Where did you go Do you after that? you realize that Susan acts like they paid for my house? Diane, what? they paid That's for because my house. Check, check, check that she has. Oh, bullshit. Why? There's, a, there's more to the checkbook. The $20,000 was written right back to them four months later. Oh, all Susan wanted it's was proof right of that, she there. said. Oh, boy. Oh, she's got the proof. Y'all have all of the paperwork. And it's in it. All they had to do was go to April, right after my dog fucking died. They got their money back. We were looking for a house. We hadn't sold our house in the Woodlands. You have to have money in a bank account before you can buy a house. That was a temporary loan that was paid back. E.F. Hale, $20,000. I mean, do, do you really, in your fucking mind, do you really think we want to hurt her? Seriously? I bet on it. I bet on That's it. sick. <laughs> it's really sick. Yeah, that is to, sick, Diane. We love her. really sick. And you do realize that your dad bragged about the fact that y'all took care of Travis Self and made it sound like he was in that house over there. Otherwise, it really would have been weird. Papa though. was never in our house. But and we did take care of Papa. Like do you know that his kids didn't even show up to his 95th birthday party? They didn't show up to his birthday. Guess who he was, was with for Christmas? Told, he hung out with us for Christmas, told, Diane, because his family are pieces of shit. I was told that y'all ran off. Well, it kind of sounds like it from what I've heard, because... They live in the house for free for how many years now? Who? Who are you talking about? Sherry and Heather. How many years had they lived uh, in the house? Sherry hadn't had been in that house that long. Time. And Callie was I living there taking care of Papa because his own for children wouldn't do it. For a thousand dollars a week. His own children wouldn't for do shit. She didn't a make a thousand dollars a week. Where that's the hell do you get that? Said. No, she didn't make a thousand dollars a week. That's insane. That's what... Your dad told Well, him. that's not what, well, no. Archie heard him wrong. No. And you're crazy if you think, think so. we want her hurt in any way. 
I've got your dad on recording talking about both of my parents like they're pieces of shit. That's bullshit, Diane. He's never once spoke to them bad. He loves them. How does he do my dad's voice? He sounds kind of like a black dude. That's how Grandpa used to talk, Diane. Don't you get Dad came over here every day and had coffee with him in the morning. Yeah, I was wondering why my dad would kiss his hands. I thought, we would bring kissing uh, his hands? You think Dad said, oh, here, God. kiss my hands? No. Oh, well, he no, kissed his hands really because he me. loved him. No, bullshit. Bullshit, no, Diane. He cried every time he saw my mother. I think it's obvious now what went on. I think my dad knew he fucked my mother over. Royal. That's what happened. No, he did not. He loved her. We all do. But he also. Why won't you get that through your head? Why can't you get it through your head? Do we love her? And we want to work with you you to make her happy. Y'all get it through your head that loaning somebody money when somebody's 83 years old for a 30-year note will never look good to anybody. Go to a bank and ask. They've already made so much interest of it. They were making one percent interest with the CD. Oh, check this out. They owe her $140,000, and they borrowed Don't you get in 50 in 2004. Don't you understand? So she's already made over 50 grand just in interest. It would have been sitting in the bank making nothing. And they only got 150. Grandpa How you told them now? not to even pay it back. Dad still pays you, it back you, because you Grandma said, wants it. What you just said makes no sense whatsoever. You said she's made $50,000. They Off owe, of interest. They owe her interest. 140 grand. Interest. They only bought, borrowed 150. Interest, that makes Diane. Sense. They've been paying that the interest. Sense. It that doesn't make sense. sense. You need to go and have an accountant and explain to you really. how the fuck it goes. Really. Obviously, I don't because you're not getting the point. Forty thousand dollars is owed to somebody, and they borrowed. Don't you get the interest part? They've already done loans like this with them, and they've paid it all yes, back. That's all the loans. Ricky Carswell's had loans. Yes, that's thank you. My dad was yes, the and bank you're damn straight them. because Grandpa was making interest on it. Have you ever paid Grandpa back with interest? Every time I ever borrowed money from them. Uh, I thought you, you told me just a couple weeks ago you've never borrowed money from your parents. No, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, then Archie did. One of y'all told me no, that no, you never no, borrowed we anything. Said we never, we never not paid back. They loaned us $4,800 for our first home in the Woodlands.